So what I'd like to do here is add some audio to my existing How to Wire Wrap Beach Glass the Easy Way video. So let's get started. First you want to cut two pieces of wire that are the same length. About 10 inches is probably fine for most beach glass. Hold one in each hand and cross them over one another. Hold it exactly the way that I'm holding it here, with your thumb and your fingers on either side of the crossed X. Holding it wrong can result in a really sloppy twist. Hold your thumbs as close to each other as possible and push them together during the twist to make sure that it's neat. Make sure you're twisting the wires equally, not wrapping one around the other. Place the twist at the back of the stone or the glass that you're wrapping. Choose the bottom, like pick which it is, and wrap one of the legs of the twist across the stone to meet the opposite. You'll make another twist the same as the first, but this time against the stone and not your other thumb. Just twist, make sure that it's nice and neat. Now push the twist up against the front or the side of the stone, and you want to push it really tight. Keep the wires close to the stone as possible. You will end up with gaps, but we have a way to fix that later. You will have created another X intersection, the front and back, and you want to twist those two wires together as well. Push this twist also up against the front or the side of the stone. Keep twisting on opposite sides of your stone until you reach the top. Then take a wire from the front and one from the opposite side on the back and twist those at the top in the center to start the bale. Pull any remaining wires around the stone and wrap them around the bale twist at the top. Now is when you can wrap, not twist. Pulling the wire is easier than pushing it, and longer wire is easier to work with than shorter wire. So this piece here is too small, so I ended up having to pull out pliers in order to work with this smaller wire to wrap it tight to the bale stem, whereas with the longer wire you can just pull and cut off what's left. A light pressure and a slight rotation around the wire in the direction of its wrap should tamp that down without damaging the wire. Now we need to make a bale in order to hang this properly on a chain or a ribbon. I have bale making pliers, but you can totally do this with just uh, a smooth barrel pencil. First you want to point the two bale wires opposite one another, one pointing to the front and one to the back. Take your pencil perpendicular to the wires the same way that a chain would go. Push it into the V of the wires as far as you can. Then wrap the two wires around the outside barrel of the pencil. The wires should be going in opposite directions. Without removing the pencil, wrap the ends of the wires around the stem of the bale. This will probably be the final layer of wire, so make them neat and close together. Remove the pencil, and you can cut some or all of the ends close to the back of the bale stem. We can use some of these wires for decoration. I'll show you how to do that. Again, just tamp down the uh, any cut wires at the back of the pendant. We've got a couple of longish wires here, so I'm going to show you how to make some spirals. So at this point it's probably pretty loose. Let's tighten up those wires on the back where they won't show. Using your chain nose pliers or bent pliers to create an S curve on the back wires. This tightens the whole cage and keeps the stone in place. Uh, be careful you're holding down the other wires with your other hand so that you don't twist them all out of shape. So you want to hold it tight to the stone. Just continue to do this across the back until it feels more secure. Keep, see, notice my whole hand is holding those wires in the front to keep, when I make the S, that keeps the wires on the front from pulling out of alignment. So check the stone. You want to wiggle it. Make sure that it's, the gaps are, are tightened up. Um, you'll be able to tell if it's secure or not.
Use your fingernails to separate the bail loops to create a pleasing Y shape that will go through a chain really nicely. They're probably a little wobbly, so use the widest part of your flattest pliers to give them a little squeeze along the loop's surface. Just not very, very hard, just a little bit. Um, here we're going to try some decorative spirals using round nose pliers. Cut the end wires to different sizes to make different size spirals. Use the very tip of your smallest round nose pliers to make the initial P shape on the wire. Keep twisting until those pliers get in the way of the wire, and then switch to your flat pliers to tighten up that little cinnamon roll a quarter turn at a time. And here I'm turning the stone with the wire on it almost more than I'm turning the pliers. You kind of want to pull that wire up and around that curve. Make sure that you tighten your spirals up against the stone where they don't catch on hair or sweaters. And that is it. Um, pop that on a chain and you've got yourself a fabulous little pendant. Thank you for watching.